Yo, what's happening out there, guys? It's Roll Easy here, and I'm back with another GTA 5 online money glitch. All right, this is a super easy glitch. Everybody should be able to hit this. It does require one friend. It is not solo, and it does require custom plates. I'm going to tell you that right up front so that there's no confusion whatsoever. Uh, so let's get into this, all right? But first, I need to shout out the founder, as always, because that is the most respectful thing to do. Other YouTubers, take note. Make sure you always shout out the founders, man. People spend time to find these glitches, so it's the least you can do. Uh, founder of this is K Glitcher, and what you're going to need for this glitch is you need a facility. In your facility, you want to go ahead and have the car you want to duplicate. We recommend the LG Retro Custom. It will sell for the most. Make sure it's fully modified and you should get close to a million dollars for it. Not this, or yeah, not this week, but next week it'll be more closer to a million dollars. We got discounts this week. So apart from that, you want a garage anywhere else. Go ahead and fill, up, fill it up with elegies or, you know, the free elegies or fagios, whichever ones will work, okay? You need one friend, obviously, and really important, especially for PlayStation, you want to do this in an invite-only session, okay? Your friend doesn't need anything. Your friend just needs to start up a job for you and stay in the facility. So... These are the, this is the beginning of the glitch basically. There's a little bit of timing, but you guys can get this. It works on Xbox and PS4. I'm doing this tutorial on Xbox for my Xbox guys on the channel, all right? So you wanna go ahead and walk into your facility and then go ahead and send an invite to your friend into your facility, all right? So here we go. I'm running over to my LG Retro Custom that I am gonna duplicate in this video and I'm gonna show you how to dupe it twice and I'm gonna show you two different outcomes that can actually happen, okay? And what's supposed to happen and it, it'll work either way, all right? It's not too bad. So I'm in the vehicle I wanna duplicate. Like I said, you need custom plates. You see I have a virus plate on here? That's my custom plate. So there's my friend Rogue. I'm gonna tell Rogue right now, go ahead and start up a job. So now Rogue isn't a titan of a job, all right? Now Xbox, we're gonna need the friend to back out at a certain time. PlayStation, you guys don't need the friend to back out. He can just sit in the job and chill there until you're done with him, all right? So Xbox, once your friend's in the job, go ahead and join him through his you know, gamer tag, his or her gamer tag, and this is what you're gonna do. So spam on join game, press right trigger twice so right now right trigger right trigger right trigger accept this first alert tell your friend to back out and then accept the next alert okay just spam through both alerts okay if done correctly you can get two things you can either spawn up on top of the map like this or under the map okay either one will work and this is how you know if it works check it out get out of your vehicle you see on the mini map there on the bottom left, I don't have any sort of personal vehicle icon for that car. That's how you know if the glitch worked, guys. So, like I said, in this video, I'll show you that you can spawn under, uh, you know, under the ground, you know, under the map and stuff, or on top of the map. The main thing to remember is you need to make sure that there is no personal vehicle icon like you see right here. If you get out of the car and walk away, normally you would see the car icon on the mini map, but you see, you don't see it right now. That shows you you're actually in a duplicate, believe it or not. This is a duplicate of the car that's in your facility. Okay, so at this point, what you want to do is go ahead and drive this vehicle over to a 10-car garage or any garage, really, that you want to put the dupe in. But remember, you want a bunch of Fagios or RH8s in there, things that will get overridden, okay? And you need custom plates. So I'm just going to fast forward right now. I have a few Fagios in the, well, I had to order them first real quick, but I have a few Fagios over there in my Eclipse Tower Penthouse Suite 1. So I'm just driving over there, and I'm going to replace over one of these vehicles. Vehicles, okay, your friend needs to be in the facility this whole time. So once your friend backs out of the job, just make sure that they're in the facility, okay? So right now you see my Fagio was delivered. I'm good. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and hop out of the vehicle. All right, so hop out of the duplicate. Now go ahead and just walk into that garage. All right, it's a penthouse suite one. Yep. So I have two Fagios in here that I plan on overriding and making dupes. All right, LG retro dupes. So you're gonna see right here, I have one here in slot 10, okay? So the one right here in slot 10, I'm gonna go ahead and just drive this, this vehicle out. Remember, this can be a free elegy or it can be a Fagio, any car you really wanna ride over. It doesn't really matter what it is, okay? But you will be getting rid of it. So, so you can see right here, I have a personal vehicle out, which is the Fagio. That shows you that this isn't even my personal vehicle yet. That's why this works. So now drive the Fagio or elegy out. Now drive your your dupe, you know, the elegy Retro Custom. Drive this dupe into that same exact garage where you pulled the Fagio out, okay? And once you drive it in there, it should actually go right into that spot, all right? You wanted the garage to be full, okay? So now it'll go right into this spot. And check it out. It's like the Sultan stack. Look at that. It actually duplicates right there, kind of, but it will disappear. It's just a really cool little glitchy thing that happens, but check it out. You have actually saved a duplicate that easy, all right? So 
It's not a very hard glitch to do. Yeah, that timing can be tricky at times, but trust me, you guys will get it. So at this point, I just wanted to kind of make sure, I wanted to see if the plate would change. I wanted to make sure that you didn't need custom plates for this, and you do. The plate does not change. You definitely need custom plates for this glitch. And I'm gonna call my mechanic and show you right now that those two retros that I had in the facility are still there. Okay, so if you look right here, I only have one Fagio left in the Eclipse garage, and I still have those two LG Retro Customs over there in my facility. So this is indeed a duplicate that was saved. Okay, so now what we're gonna be doing, geez, the helicopter was low. All right, so uh, now this is actually an easy way to teleport uh, across the map. My friend is over there. He, I told him to go ahead and walk outside of my facility. He started up a job, that blue circle, over there by the facility, and he just sent me an invite, and now he's just gonna kick me from the job. And then check it out. I'm gonna teleport right next to my facility, okay? So this is a really easy way to get around the map, guys, when you have a friend, all right? Just have your friend start up one of these jobs at the blue circles, and then once you join in, just have him kick you, and then boom, you know you're right there. So as you can see right here, we're getting set up. We're gonna do the glitch right away again. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter alone. I'm pretty sure you can enter with your friend. I don't know why I didn't. I just, you know, I was just following the steps really for the tutorial, but I'm pretty sure you can just enter with him. If you wanna follow me exactly, go ahead. But as you can see right here, I still have that green retro and that other blue retro right there. That blue retro doesn't have a custom plate. That's why I'm not using it. So here we go. I'm gonna hop into the retro that I wanna duplicate. We're gonna do this glitch again back to back for you guys, completely uncut right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and I actually kind of forgot I needed to invite my friend here So I'm gonna close up my phone and I'm gonna invite my friend into my facility. Okay, so Any second now. All right. <laughs> I don't know why I got kind of confused there So I'm gonna go ahead and open up my interaction menu and then go to facility management and invite my friend to the facility And I'll just fast forward till my friend gets up here You want your friend inside your facility. Okay at all times until you save the car inside of the 10 car garage Okay, so there we go my friend's here. My friend's gonna go ahead and start up a titan of a job. Remember, your friend just has to sit in the lobby, okay? On Xbox, your friend has to back out. PlayStation, your friend can just still sit in the job, okay, while you're doing this part. All right, so here we go. So my friend is in the job. He's letting me know he's in the lobby. I'm gonna go ahead and open up my Xbox dashboard and hit join game on my friend. And you know, you gotta spam join game on Xbox. That's just kind of how it works. But uh, yeah, once you're done spamming, you're just gonna press right trigger three times, okay? So check it out join game I'm gonna spam on it and then it collapses right trigger right trigger right trigger go ahead and right when you get that alert accepted and tell your friend to back out of the job and just spam a through the second alert but check it out I didn't get a second alert I actually get stuck on an infinite black loading screen okay now PlayStation you guys can just accept both alerts you'll be in an invite only session you can join through the party it works good for you uh, so Xbox or anybody if you get caught on this infinite black loading screen right here Have your friend start up that Titan of a job and just do the kind of the same thing Just have them, um, you know join that game tell your friend you're on the alert tell them to back out of the job And then you just accept both of the alerts and look what happens actually I'm gonna spawn right back down under the map which is actually what's supposed to happen normally So just press right trigger just to kind of drive up a little bit and just you know balance yourself out Trust me you will spawn back on top of the map. All right and so you see that I had that weird result, but check it out. The glitch is still going to work. Why? Because I always said, whatever happens to you, get out of the car and make sure you don't see a personal vehicle icon. See, I didn't see one, so I know that this is a duplicate. The glitch will still work. Okay, and I had a different outcome than the first time. So once again, drive over to that garage that you have, you know, full with a bunch of Fagios or RH8s. Run into it. Remember, you want to get out of your duplicate and then run or walk into that garage. Okay, so we're making our way in there right now. And once I'm in here, you see I still have that dupe on the right, the green one. I'm going to go ahead and run over to the only Fagio I have left. And I'm going to drive this little, you know, this little bike right out. All right. So we're driving the bike out. And then that spot is basically open. Remember, you need everything to be full in that garage for this to work properly. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and just hop into this LG Retro Custom dupe right here that is not even, you know, my personal vehicle or anything and drive it into the same exact garage where the Fagio came from, okay? And if done correctly, you will spawn right in that same spot where the Fagio was and the car should dupe just like this. Look at that. <laughs> this one was even crazier. And look, actually the normal one went away and I kept the one that was upside down right here, right? When's the last time you've seen an upside down uh, car in your 10 car garage? pretty freaking cool I'm not gonna lie all right so awesome new glitch I want you guys to take advantage of this man it's Thursday night a lot of stuff got patched earlier so we do have a working money glitch pretty quickly thanks to K glitcher so shout out to him I'll leave his name down in the description as well 
But that's going to be it for me. My name is Roll Easy. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and learned something. If you're brand new to the channel, press that big red subscribe button, turn on post notifications, and drop a fat like on this video and the rest of my videos for the freshest and the most informative dope GTA 5 online content. Road to 25,000 subscribers. Peace out, guys.